What is going on guys? Real Touch Gmail here back with another Wave 2 update and today um, I'm actually showing you a, not gameplay, although I've been working on that a ton, uh, but this is actually a uh, mechanic in the game, or not really a mechanic, but um, what am I trying to say? It's it's something really awesome, I, I, I think, here. Um, so when you have Wave here, um, and you go ahead and run it, <clears throat> And you're on the screen here, and we're running version 2.42. Now, um, we have an update here. So I've actually created an auto-updater for Wave 2. So it says Wave 2 update now available. Do not close window while updating. Update may take up to several minutes. So if you say do not update, obviously it's not going to update itself. So we're running on uh, version 2.42 still. But if you hit update... <clears throat> And you just let it load here. There we go. Wave 2 has now been updated to version 271. Program will now exit. Please restart Wave 2 from directory. So now, um, oh, I don't know why that. Uh, we're going to do Wave 2 here again. And 242. There we go. Um, so now we have 271. And actually, it does not, it will not create a Wave 2 update, it's, it will replace the current icon. That was just for testing purposes. Oh my god, that's loud. That was just for testing purposes. Um, but yeah, now you have an updated version. And those of you that are kind of wondering how this works, uh, and you can delete this here uh, if you really wanted to. It doesn't really matter. Um, but obviously it's going to replace itself, so yeah. Uh, what happens here is I've actually uploaded um, <clears throat> the current version ID and the new exe file onto a server so what happens is when you run this it checks to see if you, our current version id is matched with the version id on the server and if not it'll update it'll download that new exe onto your onto your system there and uh... it'll it'll go how you know how it does uh... So leave a like go and subscribe i will see you guys uh... next time peace